Muscular dystrophy. It's the second most common single gene disorder in Western countries. There are countries. 434 different muscles in the human body, which in the adult contribute to over 40% of the total body muscular weight. Muscular dystrophy has a category of nine different types of muscular disorder. We have Duchenne muscular dystrophy, the most common, Becker muscular dystrophy, facial scapulo humeral muscular dystrophy, and myotonic Congenital muscular dystrophy begins at childbirth. And the symptoms are general muscle weakness, progresses it slowly, and has a shortened Duchenne life. Duchenne muscular dystrophy is most common during childhood, normally affects only boys. They start showing symptoms when they start walking. Around the age of 10, the child may need braces. Around the age of 12, they're not able to walk, and the lifespan is from 15 to 45. The years. gene on the X chromosome only affects males more than females because of the X chromosome. chromosomes, their symptoms are less than boys because they have another X chromosome to rely on if one the of them is protein protein. that helps the cell stabilize the sarcolemma in the cell all the way to the extracellular matrix to keep the cell sturdy. The sarcolemma has no support and it unstabilizes the cell. Over time, the proteins start escaping the damaged cell and calcium enters and the cell then leads to symptoms cell death. are the muscle changes in size, the child waddles when trying to stand, the calves get enlarged because of fat and fibrosis and there is no more muscle. The the child ends up on a wheelchair and sometimes respiratory failure occurs. Having a weak diaphragm or scoliosis or dilated cardiomyopathy. Unfortunately, arrhythmias. there is no cure for muscular dystrophy. So it is recommended for a child to start physical therapy at an early stage.
to get the better quality of There life. are only a few medications used to treat and help with the symptoms for muscular dystrophy, and most of them are steroids to slow down the muscles' degenerations and anticoagulants and immunosuppressants to delay damage for dying muscles. But sometimes these cause certain side effects. Some of them cause weight gain, 